In this episode, we're going to be talking about some mentalism books that'll teach you how to do something crazy like this. Here we go. We're going to be talking about three different booklets in this episode. And if you're into mentalism, this is a great place to start or to further educate yourself on mentalism. I'm here with the one and only Don of Don's Magic and Books, as he is known in my household. We're going to be doing a giveaway thanks to Don. Three lucky people watching this episode will win one of these three. But one of you will get this one, one of you randomly will get this one, and one of you will randomly get that one. Just as a thank you to you guys, and so you can maybe dive into mentalism for the first time or add to your current repertoire. We'll tell you how to do that. Stay tuned. So we're going to break this episode into the three pieces so that you can jump around to hear about each one of these books that are in this series called Diverse Deceptions. Ooh. Richard Osterlin, if you don't, you know, for the people who don't know who he is, has been a mentalist. In fact, he's the reason that I do mentalism today. He, though, has never been one to release stuff to the big market. He tends to release it smaller, more selectively, and what's fascinating is I think he got that from Al Mann, which was sure. his mentor and the guy who used to release a lot of magic booklets. So he, he released these in the style of that, that they were exclusive and hard to find, and it is only just now yep. that Richard has said, you know what, I think that these deserve to go out to a bigger audience than the people who just know me through my website. What I didn't know that these books existed, these three, yeah. and I didn't know what they were about right. until they were a little bit more mass marketed outside of just his website. They're great books. They fit nicely in a, a briefcase, suitcase, easy to carry, and they cover a lot of material. And that's what I love about these. And it, it even says right on the front, you can see by the, the style and the artwork that they're designed to harken back to that old school style. Yeah. The thing I also love about Richard, I think he has used most of these routines, you know what I mean? Yeah. They're, they're real life workers. Yep. What's nice too is each trick fully illustrated, and it's true. The illustrations are there when you need them. And technically, uh, they're photographs, not even illustrations. Yeah, exactly. If, if it requires a photograph to help you understand, he's got it in there. Let's talk sure. through some of the tricks in this one. When I looked at the first original Diverse Deceptions, yep. there's actually one piece in here. I don't even use the piece the way he describes it, which is a great trick, but I use a subtlety that he uses, and it's oh. the fourth dimensional telepathy routine. Okay. A lot of mentalists use this. If you don't know the routine, it's a fantastic routine, and you can learn it in this book. You can learn sure. a great version. It's essentially a one-ahead routine. Okay. using envelopes, but you're reading people's minds. I use it in my shows, and it blows people away. It is a great cool. trick. But in here, he's got a technique. Uh, without giving too much of the method away, right. you're going to have to misnumber some envelopes because you're getting one ahead. And when you do, he has a great little move to help you get the envelopes in the correct order to be misnumbered without looking like any kind of a move whatsoever. Mm. I always use the routine, but when I saw this touch, I started to use his method. It's just these little touches that you can tell when someone has actually used this material right. yeah. that they've thought through how does this work. It's not a brainstorm that yeah. I'm just going to share this idea with you. It's, no, I've done this over and over and over and over. Right. Here's one little, and I noticed that quite a few of those little tips, call them that, yeah. kind of mixed throughout. You go, oh, that's a nice routine. That's nice. I didn't think about that part of it and stuff. And there's a lot of those in these booklets. For sure, and he's even got essays in here on how to practice because he's answering the questions that he's heard a lot of magicians or aspiring mentalists sure. ask mm -hmm. is, well, how do I practice mentalism? He knows what he's talking yeah. about and he can give you the advice to get you to that stage of being a performing sure. mentalist. Now, one of the things I liked about all the booklets, okay, I'm a, a gimmick, nut, whatever you call it. In, in the first one here, he's got a double envelope and a whole bunch of uses for it. In, I think it was this one here, he's got the Mirage envelope. I love those little things like that. I will say, when I first opened this first one, the first routine, I saw uh, diagrams of like a watch like you have there. Yeah. And he says, oh, a particular type of watch, and I almost glossed over it until you look, you read what the routine is, and it's something that you just, you happen to glance early on and you match up your, your second hand of your watch with somebody else's. Later in the show, if the opportunity comes up, you fry them. Absolutely. And it's one of those things that you take opportunity for that moment and fry people. And if it never comes up, you don't have to perform right. it. It harkens back to the old uh, Max Bellini thing, you know, you wait. You yeah. made a week. If the moment is right, it's going to crush them. Yes. And if it doesn't, that's fine. You don't yeah. have to do it. You've got. Right. You're doing plenty of other material. Right. You got plenty of other material. Yeah. That's exactly right. That's what I liked about that one. I liked the envelope, and I liked the little touches, like with the watch thing. It's always nice to think about. You know, people always talk about everyday carry. 
that watch thing is almost like an everyday carry. Sure. And he has another watch uh, piece in here while he was thinking about it, train of consciousness there in the diverse deceptions. I don't want to give too much away there, but it's going to allow you to have something with you all the time that will help be a peak device that's related to your watch. Yeah. So now there are some arts and crafts with it. If you're wanting to do it, it's not. Simple though. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's very simple. I'm going to say it's like a James Bond style mentalism deal because fun. you're, you know, you're wearing a piece of technology for yourself that will help you perform a miracle. So that one's Diverse Deceptions, great one. I think that the fourth dimensional telepathy alone is generally worth the price of the book for people. I'll have to go back and read it again now. If you don't perform a fourth dimensional telepathy, it blows people's minds, and you can learn cool. a great version right here. Very cool. We're filming this at Magi Fest, and hence the worn out voices. A young man came up to my booth to buy a, a book, and he said, I'd like to start learning some basic mentalism. So we talked about Corinda's 13 steps, and they bought the book, and they came back a little later, what's a Swami gimmick? Yeah. Well, because not everyone calls it a Swami gimmick, you know, thumb writer and stuff. There are well, different versions, yeah. Richard covers a whole routine in here, the basics of how to use it, how to keep it hidden, how to get it on, how to get it off and stuff. In this book here, this is the more diverse deceptions he has. Also has two different blindfold type stuff. He has one with a full on blindfold. Then he has one with a, a, a cloth blindfold for like the blindfold drive, which would look similar to that. Something I always want to do. What a cool publicity stunt. And I lived in a small town and our main street was only three blocks long. And I thought, oh, wouldn't it be awesome to do that? I never did. Well, it's, so. never, it's not too late. I know it's not. In my town, that would have been headline. Because I ride unicycles, I do a variety show. He said to me, he said, Don, that's your catch. Don't do a blindfold drive. Do it in a school. That, be blindfolded, get on your unicycle, and follow a particular path through a school and end up at a particular location. It's like, I'd sure. love to do that unicycle thing sometime. I just haven't gotten the nerve to do it. Well, we're going we're gonna to work on that. If you guys want to see Don oh, ride a unicycle blindfolded through a school, sound off down in the comments below below and we will make sure that we get someone to take some footage of this. He just needs a little encouragement. Rah, rah, rah. I'd like to thank Don of Don's Magic and Books for sponsoring this episode of Erudite Magic. This week, if you want to save 10% off of almost everything on his website, use the code WINTER at checkout. Oh, and if you buy $25 or more of media items, you'll get free shipping in the United States. Before I forget, if you're interested in the giveaway, all you have to do is drop a comment down below indicating that you'd like to be one of the lucky recipients of these videos. One week from today's video, the contest will close out. Be sure to check the description for the official rules. I have to say that YouTube in no way endorses or has anything to do with this giveaway, but certainly I want to see you win some of these fantastic booklets. Be sure to check out Don's website. The link will be down in the description below as well as full contest rules not only are you getting tricks you're also you know yeah. learning how to do the stuff that you can use to sure. uh, help build out your act and promote yourself the stage opener I have also used it does use the nail writer but it is a fantastic routine and he gives you some tips on making this play to a big room and how psychologically you want to work it when you come in. It's a great way to gain instant credibility because if you can walk up on the stage and the first thing you do is you think of a number, you name a number, you name a number, and you, you've you already written that down. Right. You, know, you, you turn around your pad, it's already it's been there. Written there. It's been written yeah. there since you walked out with this. Now you've given people a reason to say, oh, I've got to watch this magician. Sure. You know, like, this is interesting. This gives you instant credibility, then you can launch into your introduction about who who you are and what you're doing here. As so. a juggler, I, always, I was always told, open your show with your second best effect, yep. close it with your first best. For me, whether or not I ever perform a blindfold drive, it's just one of those things, it's like now I have that extra little bit of knowledge and who knows? That's right. In a year, five years, 10 years, I might have an opportunity I can go, I remember, I have that, you know? Well, in the third one again, there's another envelope in there called the Mirage envelope. How to make it, how to use it, and then there's another section on the Swami gimmick, and it's actually called Swami. And some people who aren't into mentalism might not know Swami, you know, like the, the young man came up, and I love telling people, introducing them to techniques or telling you about stuff, because it just sends them on that journey out to find more information. And The idea being that you have uh, some sort of writing instrument attached to your thumb. Yep. Uh, in, in one facet or another, and I'm going to leave you guys to do the research on that, but you can end up secretly writing things that sure. people have said, whether it's simple things like numbers typically, or yep. you, know, you could write something down and sure. have them name something, and you you can show that you knew what they were thinking about. Some people might say, oh, you know, they're, they're pretty small. This one happens to be more diverse deceptions. It's about 65 pages. Diverse Deceptions is about, it's 50 pages. And this one's 65 as well, the yeah. further Diverse Deceptions, okay. yeah. They each run about $40, but you know what? 
Nowadays, you can go and spend hundreds of dollars on a book, but I think there's just as much information here that if you pull a bit out of even two or three of these routines, you know, worth the price of the book, I guess, you know, to use a cliche. If I paid $40 for these, I would not have been disappointed at all. Truth be told, I did. I bought these straight from Richard when they first came out because I knew of him. If I had to name the tricks that I think make them worth the price, fourth dimensional telepathy routine in okay. diverse deceptions, I think that that you can make an entire career on. So for $40 to have a routine, I mean, I hope, no one out there doing mentalism or any magic is doing shows for 40 bucks. I hope you're doing it right. for a lot more than 40 bucks. So if that's the case, you get a you get a trick like that that fills a solid yeah. uh, 10 plus minutes. Sure. That's entertaining. Yep. Uh, with a huge payoff. With how much pocket space? Yeah. Right. It packs completely flat. Some envelopes, yeah. a couple pencils. So for me, that one is totally worth the price of the book. On sure. this one, again, uh, let's pair these up, right? If you learn the blindfold mentalism drive, uh, sure. oh, the blindfold gosh. drive, now you have uh -huh. a piece that goes into your show for $40, it's fantastic. You have a way to promote it that's gonna generate a whole lot of buzz. You're going to do a show, call somebody up, tell them yep. you're gonna do this. And even if you only get the school newspaper to show up for that, right. there's still some publicity in that. So again, $40 to learn to do yep. that. You're up to 80 bucks, you still aren't up to what you should be charging for your shows right now. Right. You've, you've talked about it before too, about having a, a good library. And sometimes it bothers me when people have a huge library and they don't read their stuff. However, your point was well taken and I got reminded by your reader or your followers quite a bit. <laughs> Just having this, it's its like having an index you can go back to anytime. And you read through here and you might go, oh, that's nice, that's nice, but it doesn't hit right now. In a year, suddenly you go, you know what, they asked me if I could do something the night before to promote the show. Jackpot, you know, boom, your library is supporting you back then. It's, it, it's helping you out again in the future. And then on the further diverse deceptions, to me, the one that could be a reputation maker is the Al Man routine in this because the premise is that you're gonna get the CEO of the company to write a question that he wants to know the answer to, sticks it in an envelope that's pre-addressed to you, and mails it. At the same time, while he's doing that, you're giving him an envelope to put his name and address on, and you're writing an answer okay. in an envelope. So basically, these two things get sent across in the mail, and when he receives it a couple of days later, you have answered the question. Oh, interesting. That, and, and you can drop them in the mail together. You know, so this is another reputation-making thing in the right place, right time. This is gonna get your repeat booking. So the way I sure. see it is, you know, you've got the more diverse deceptions, you've got a way to promote your show and, and build up some uh, publicity, diverse deceptions, you've got that fourth dimensional mm -hmm. telepathy, a great routine to put in there. And by the way, there are plenty of routines within all these yep. that work in your shows, but for me, price of the book. And then this Owl Man routine, it is a fantastic routine and that'd be a way to basically get a repeat booking. Sure. So at the end of the show, you say, hey, I'd like to do something special with the CEO or whoever it is that you're trying to call out. To me, yes. $40 for each one of these. But right now, if you get all three, they are at $120. And of course, if you're using the code this week, you know how to save on uh -huh. some of that. And when you look at the price of that, from a professional working mentalist who knows what he's talking about, you're gonna easily recoup that the very first show that you oh, do. Oh yeah, yep. the very first show. Well, I hope this has given you an idea of what you can find in these fantastic Richard Osterlin books. And if you are looking for other books that you might like in the realm of mentalism, then be sure to check out this playlist over here. Otherwise my friends, thank you for watching, and until next time, keep reading. Thanks for make, not making me have to try I know, to say it again. Right? We learned our lesson the hard way that way. Oh, God. Maybe I shouldn't be doing this.